What's going on, happy people? How are you guys doing today? It's a lovely day here in Georgetown, Guyana. It's Saturday morning, and of course, you guys know what I do on Saturdays, right? I go to the market, I get my fresh supplies, and I cook fresh. I spoke to my buyer, Ricky. Ricky is the R in the ARD. He said to me, man, I want to see you make a stew snapper. So I'm heading down to the market, pick up a nice fresh snapper, I'm gonna cook it for my boy Ricky. So come with me and let's go on the adventure. So guys, I make a stop here. Get some of my um, snack here for breakfast. What we got here today, man? We got egg ball, fish cake, Korean fish cake, Korean sour, Korean chicken curry. I see bygani. Bygani. Hello, bygani fish cake. Good. Put it about YouTube, YouTube yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 All right. right opposite more repose market, right? Good. So I'll have my breakfast here this morning. Right by this stand here. On the public road of one repose. So I got my box full of goodies, uh, snacks. Somebody. For go with this stick. This is what really give it a good taste. Digging into my this is some freshly squeezed cherry juice. I couldn't get fresher. The cherry come out the tree, then people squeeze it, I put it in this bottle for the ice cream. It's a good stuff. And throw it into the market now. Wow, this market busy. More and more. Yeah, we're gonna pass up and go get it. Wow, there's a lot of people here this morning, man. Market busy, bud. Everybody getting their fish and their meat and, you know, all things. Wow! I've never seen this market so busy yet. <laughs> this is real business. Guys, you know how many times I show this market. And this is about now it's 11 o'clock. I'm late today at the market and look at the craziness here. So 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 busy. Look at that, but I'm always got some. A lock, we call it a lock and onion, you call this fish, right? Yeah. And this is a part one thing. Some fish. Yarrow. Hurry, and they got yarrow. Part two. This is some bush fish, sweet water fish. Hey, Uncle. This is a camera. You're going to be on YouTube, right? You're going to be a star by. You want to tell them girls anything? No? Alright. Look, look. Thanks, eh? You want to come out So I got a lot of shrimp here and this, this fish is girl here. Yeah, this is sea shrimp. Now I want a sweet water, right? Yeah, this is shy, this is shy for the camera, yes. Uh, this is sea shrimp, the salt water shrimps, and these are sweet water shrimps. And they got crab over there. Right. So I in the market to get him some fish. I see a nice red fish here. How much of this red fish? 5,000 for this fish? Yeah, yeah. Wait, I'll clean the fish in here. So, see a nice red fish there? I'm buying that fish. Sure. Yeah. I haven't seen a red fish this big a long time. Look, this red fish. No, I'm good at that. This is the big red fish there. Right on the ocean. Are you just let me just hold up just take out the skin. Yeah, yeah, just take out the um the scale for me and the and the fin. Ah, it's Shelly, my boy though. Look at this, look at this. Look at the family. This is Lisa, that though. Where's my Lisa, man? Yeah. How much is your bancarella? How much is your bancarella? 2000. So how much is your parcel? So 4 and 4, 8. 
Oh, this this young man making a little hustle, selling a little banter, right now. So buy your auto, this way you can go more early, right? Rakesh, how things? All right. Oh, yeah, why? You don't sell, why? Yeah. Let me see what I'm this guy here, why? Why are you here today? Let me see some. Let me see I sell fish, let me see I sell drinks, too. I'll get drink of that. This is the good, the good life in Guyana. I'm going to celebrate, right? Here's why. There's nothing, nothing better than the bank's beer. Nice. Cheers, boy. Cheers. Yes. Happy birthday, you want it? Hey, birthday? I just learned that this man born. Hey, boy. Happy birthday, boy. Cheers. Man of a fat, man of a fat here now. We're up to two thousand. Right, so we're celebrating the buy board day today. Big up. So. Again, this side. Nice boy. Let me get to me. We are selling. Your boss is not good. All right. Five thousand dollars. No problem. Yeah, you know? what? Okay. You know what I mean? He is trying to beat for you. Let me get my free till I pay for quarters later, right? You can clean up, please. This is one of my good friends here. We understand how you get me a little mutton from and thing, right? How you do? <laughs> they good? All right, yeah, all right. Yeah. So, finished getting all my stuff, and I'm out of the market. And I'm heading back into the kitchen. So it's about 12 o'clock right now. You can see the sun, the sunshine there, man. But this road is very dangerous to cross. We should actually leave them on. I'm my boy Stanley, the best mechanic in Melanie and in these schools. This is mechanic. Everything good? Yeah, man. All right. Uncle Ganesh? Yes, son. Okay, now, man. Give me the two chicken there, man. How things? All right. So I get to my chicken, my Uncle Ganesh. Then I head back to the kitchen to start cook. All right, guys, look. I went off this. I set out this morning to the market to get me a yellow snapper. But instead, I got me a nice red snapper. And as you see, my buy at the market there, he gift me a tilapia. This is a sweet water fish here in Guyana. And I got me some hassa. So I'm gonna clean this up, start cooking. So this is how I descale my fish. I know some people, they just fillet it. Because I watch my buy they meat for dinner. He will usually fillet the fish, but you see we in Guyanese, we're very conservative. So we don't want to waste none of the fish. We gotta make sure we cook as much as the fish we can get to cook. Because this fish, I bought it for like 25 US dollars. We don't show away much of it. This is me here. So I'm gonna cut this up to make it chew. I got my snapper already cleaned there and my tilapia that my friend gave to me. I got my pepper, fresh ginger, tomatoes, fine thyme, celery, shallot, sweet peppers, garlic, onions, and of course, tomato paste, tomato paste. I got some salt. So, I'm about to get started. We're gonna season in this fish, then we're gonna fry it, then we're gonna stew it. So guys, see I got my gloves once again. I was given instructions to use my gloves by my lovely wife. So this is uh, some of the seasoning you saw earlier. The so there's all those herbs you see earlier in here. So I get them into the fish, I'm gonna season it. Let marinate a little. Then I'm gonna fry. So we adding a lot of seasoning, you know, as I tell you, when you're in a country where no seasoning are available, just use them. So 
So we're getting started. On a portion with our oil to fry the fish. Looks like the oil is ready, it's hot. In the meantime, I butter the fish. Now I always use flour, put a thin layer of flour on the fish, then put it in the oil so it doesn't stick. And when you're, when you're making a stew, you don't have to fry the fish too brown. Because you gotta allow it to cook in the stew as well. Of course, y'all yeah, know today is Saturday, right? And I just do something with the coffee mug. So I go in for my Grey Goose just now. And I'm gonna pour me a shot. But my boy Jerry, he did not show up today with my coconut water. So Mr. Jerry, if you're looking at this video, what happened to my coconut water? So I will be drinking my vodka with coconut water today. I guess not. I sure hope Jerry is doing okay. It's looking all nice now. So I have some of that love potion here left, which I'm going to pour into my oil. You can smell the greatness here as well. So let this cook a little. For about two minutes, and then throw in your onion. Turn that up, let it cook a little. <coughs> and this thing is choking Miss Lynn right now. She's recording for me. Sorry. Then, next you want to add your tomatoes and your sweet pepper. And now we're making stew fish, right? So we're now adding the tomato paste. Does give the redness of the curry and some more taste. You know, my eyes a man like you know I love using my fresh ingredients, but here I have to use some tomato paste. I don't know how to make that locally. Mix that up. That's some of the fish are already fried, and we got some more bubbling over there. Look at this love portion. You want this to sit for a little, another minute, and then add in the water, and then we have the fish. I like by love and fall in love. So we got some more water here and then we got in the fish. We added some more water. Well now we can allow this to pick up some heat, start boiling and then we gonna add the fish. Well I'm throwing the salt here. So we have like about yeah, we got one tablespoon of salt there right now. I get as a help from my lovely wife here. It's a teamwork thing, you know. So look how this uh, is bubbling here. So ready for the fish so I'm gonna take the fish over here and put it right over there now this one I'm gonna let it fry a little bit more crisp but that one we're gonna lash it with a little popcorn look at the goodness of this stew fish. So as the fish added, you can let it boil for 10 minutes. Let it dry down a little, or the water evaporate a little, and this is ready to eat. By Jamal, remember the coconut water there, man. You got to be grey goose, and you got to be fried fish. So you know, I usually take one shot every Saturday. So I'll give by Jamal a shot too. But we're going down. So we got to cook on that one today. I remember Jamal. I remember Jamal from the other day, right? This man still single, you know, and available. So cheers, boy. Yeah. I'm teaching this man with the coconut water and the vodka. We're standing in the garden and we're lashing with fish. So life couldn't get better than this, y'all. So this is we stew fish, stew snapper coming to life eh? It's almost ready. And of course we got a little rice piling over here. So this is it guys. I'm gonna add some scallion and some celery. You know I usually sprinkle these things at the top of my curry when I'm done. 
So the curry is almost finished, my stew is almost finished. So I'm adding some flavor here to it. So that's it. That's my stew fish. Guys, so a moment ago, while recording, my good friend, my good brother from Canada, Sir David, who's from Unity, called me. He said, you know, there's one of your subscribers who want to say hi to you. And I had a brief conversation with a young lady. Her name is Miss Ganga from Mahaiko, who lost her brother. Her brother looks just like me. She told me I reminded her so much of her brother and her brother and her were so close. And I can feel it in her voice, the emotion in her voice. She really loved her brother and I just want to say that I'm so touched and I'm so happy that I can remind you of your brother. And if there's something I can do to comfort you, I would love to do that. Keep watching the show. If it comforts you, keep watching the show. My heart goes out to Stanley, your brother. So guys, what a wonderful world. I'm so happy that I can touch the lives of people. My message is reaching out to people. And I love you all for that. I'm just a humble man, an ordinary man, living life to its fullest. With that said, I'm going to cheers to you all. Look at the greatness here. Look at this sauce, how it's thick and nice. When it's too thin, I don't like it that way. Some people add wheat flour to get their gravy thick. I didn't do that. My own naturally got thick. So look at the greatness here. Man. And you know what? I love my big pepper. Here is my pepper. This is what I'm talking about. This. Life couldn't get better than this. Fresher than this. Nicer than this. Cheers. Boy. Thing tastes good. I'm making joke. This thing tastes real good. <laughs> As I cook it. With the help of my wife, Miss Lynch. Cheers, y'all. Guys, if you enjoy my cooking, if you enjoy my videos, my vlogs, please show me some love. Please hit that like button. Share this video. Are you giving me a thumbs up, Miss Lynch? <laughs> yes. Cheers, sir. Well, thank you for watching. Peace out. See you in the next video.